<sighs> Good morning, babe. What time is it? Why'd you wake me up so early? You know I'm not a morning person. Wait, really? Today's my wake up day? Alright, alright. Just give me a second, let me stretch. Oh? You have a surprise for me? You know you didn't have to get a, uh get me anything. Well, thank you for thinking of me. How on earth did I manage to find myself such a sweetheart? It's downstairs? Alright, lead the way. Oh my god, babe. What is all of this? You really made all this food for me? I told you I just need some snacky stuff to get going again. You don't have to make me a huge breakfast. Thank you. It looks delicious. Pancakes, omelettes, French toast, bacon? Is that my favorite honey? Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Yeah. Well, aren't you gonna eat me? Honey, you've made so much food that a few less waffles on my plate won't make me starve. Now get your butt over here and eat with me. Thank you. Mm, this is amazing. How long did it take you to make all of this? What? Wait, wait, wait. You've been serious saying that you've been up since 5 in the morning? Honey, you shouldn't have. No, I seriously mean you shouldn't have. You need your sleep too. I can't have my baby acting all groggy and grumpy. Uh, I suppose what's done is done. But you're going to bed early tonight. Oh, don't look at me like that. You're the one who decides to keep out on their beauty sleep. Come on, babe. Don't fight me on this. You're quite literally poking the bear, and the bear only wants what's best for you. Can I just say, thank you again for taking care of me while I hibernated. This is the first time I've ever had someone to do that for me, and it really means a lot. I know I've been saying it in all winter, but it's true. You've checked in on me multiple times per day, every day just to make sure that I was doing alright. When you left the house, you would leave a sticky note on my nightstand to let me know where you were. Every time I, I woke, it was like, Hey, how are you feeling? Do you need anything? How can I help? Not to mention you actually did research. Do you know how many people think that hibernation's just sleeping 24-7 or for months on end? And I've had so many teachers and bosses in the past tell me that I can afford to skip hibernating to come in. Like, yeah, I don't need necessarily to hibernate, but it's not healthy to skip. Hey, that impression was amazing and you can't change my mind. <laughs> but seriously, you are such an angel and I couldn't have done it without you. I also want to thank you for getting me moving for the holidays. You don't know how worried I was that you let me sleep through them. Well, can you blame me for worrying? You're not exactly at the best at putting yourself first. I know how much you would spend the holidays with me, and in the back of my mind, I'm always nervous that you'd assume I'd rather stay in our bedroom than spend time with you. Don't give me that. We both know that you put everyone else before yourself. And while that is very nice of you, also need to learn uh, you also need to learn when it's time for some self-care hey I'm happy you decided to wake me up on the holidays I'm on a good that's a good step 
but we'll keep working on it, okay, honey? That's what I like to hear. Ugh, I'm gonna have to call my. I'm gonna have to call all my friends and family soon. They're all gonna be wondering when I've woken up. No? Abby was by yesterday? Why didn't you tell me? She asked me. Uh, I mean, she asked you to let you sleep? Yeah? Yeah, that's definitely Abby. What did she come over for? Oh, she baked some she baked some cookies for me. That's nice of her. I guess she'll be the first on one to on my to call list. Nah, uh, I'm sure it can wait a day or so. I can do that in a day or so or two. <laughs> right now, I just want to spend time with my baby. By the way, how was work? Wait a minute. You picked up how many hours? Oh my god, babe. Poor thing. You've been working yourself to the bone. Why did you do that? I thought I told you I had enough money saved. I know you were our only income for a few months, but still. You were working all day and taking care of me all night. You must be exhausted. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Honey, you know that wouldn't have, have bothered me. I told you, even if I'm hibernating, let me know when you're having problems. Bending to me and asking for help will never be a bother. You are never a bother, nor a burden. No, I'm not mad. I just wish that you would, uh, that I would known sooner, or at least you've told me earlier. Yes, I understand your worries. Everything is expensive, and there's never enough money to go around. But we are okay. We have plenty saved up for the my hibernation and for emergencies. When you get back to work, you need to tell your boss to reduce your hours again. Hey. If he gives you shit, you have the excuse of me being able to work again. And if he still gives you shit, I'll talk to him. Alright, fine. I won't talk to him for you. But promise me, please, that you will use your hours, okay? Thank you, baby. I love you so much and I never want to see you overwork. Well, since we're talking about work, did you take it off for the week like I asked? Good. I actually have a confession to make. You know how I said that you need that you need my uh, to help me with this week with my body to get out of hibernation mode? Well, that's a lie. That was a lie. I wanted you to take the week off so I could return the favor. What favor? Well, taking care of me all winter. I figured this would be a fun way of saying thanks. You deserved it, babe. No, don't give me that. What did I just say about putting you, putting yourself first? No, no buts. I'm spoiling you this week and that's the end of that. After breakfast, I'm gonna shower and we can do whatever you want. No, not what? Or, no, not, no, not what I want to do. This is about you. Anything you want, we'll go do it. You wanna watch a movie with me? I like the sound of that. Uh, you can pick a movie and we can cuddle up on the couch and have a nice lazy day together. Uh, maybe we could have a date night or at your favorite restaurant. How does that sound? Good. I'm so excited to spend the week spoiling my precious baby. Thank you again for um, the amazing breakfast, by the way. If you keep on doing yourself like this, I'm gonna have a hard time making things even. Although, I 
think I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> well, you're just gonna have to wait and see, aren't you? <laughs> Here, I'll do the dishes for you. Ah, uh, no arguments. You're the one getting spoiled this time, remember? Good. I love you so much, honey. Now, go make yourself comfy and I'll be there in a minute. 